Information Wednesday, Shalise McQueen here. Yes, it's Thursday. Unfortunately, my video yesterday, half the audio was missing, so here we are. But yesterday I talked about how to make sure that you are carrying adequate limits when it comes to your personal auto policy. And so in order to help you determine that, I'm gonna ask you four questions. The first being when it comes to bodily injury. Obviously you're carrying state minimum at least because that's the law. But again, I want to emphasize if you're carrying state minimum, coverage, which is 25,050. That does nothing for you, does nothing for somebody else. You are going to be personally sued. You're going to have to personally sue. Because remember, under uninsured motorist coverage is for your protection. So if you're seriously injured in an accident and all you're going to receive from your insurance company is $25,000, yeah, you can, you can understand where the problem lies. Now, number two, what kind of vehicle do you drive? And the reason I ask this is if you have a loan on your vehicle, you do need to maintain full coverage, which just means comp and collision. That doesn't mean any other bells or whistles like rental car, glass, etc. just comprehensive and collision coverage. Now, if you have an older vehicle and it's paid off, depending on how much those two coverages are costing you, you may want to forego them. And a good way to determine this is if you go on your Kelly Kelly Blue Book, you can kind of get an idea of what your vehicle may be worth and maybe take another 20% off of that. That's probably what your insurance company would write a check for. So if your common collision are costing you thousands of dollars every six months and your vehicle's worth a total of four grand, it probably does not pencil out, but that is a personal decision. Number three, do you have good health insurance? or do you have a high deductible on your health insurance? If the answer is yes, you more than likely want to opt in and have medical pay on your insurance because medical pay is gonna cover you as a driver and any passenger inside your vehicle. So if someone has an $8,000 deductible, having a $5,000 or $10,000 medical pay is going to help bridge that gap before your traditional health insurance will kick in. And of course, while you're waiting for the money to come in from the attorney or insurance company if you were seriously injured. Now, number four, and I ask this question loosely because in this day and age, it really does not matter, but do you have assets? Now, the reason I say it doesn't matter is because you can have nothing, and if you hurt somebody, they can garnish your wages if they're awarded a judgment. But the reality is, obviously, if you do have assets, you want to take the further step and make sure that you and your assets are protected and that is by carrying at least $250,000 in auto bodily injury coverage, and then also having an umbrella policy on top of that. The umbrella policy is going to increase those limits up to a million dollars or higher, depending on what limit you carry on your umbrella. And then of course, you do have the ability as well to add under an uninsured motorist coverage on your umbrella as well to further protect you, the golden goose. Now that coverage is expensive as far as adding under uninsured, however, it definitely may make sense considering the day and age that we are currently in. As always, hope you enjoyed today's conversation. Hopefully those four questions helped you determine that you do not have adequate auto insurance. I say that confidently because I see everything every day and a majority of people that come across my office do not carry, in my opinion, adequate coverage to fully protect them. So stop focusing on the premium and focus on what you're receiving in return and the benefit of not being personally sued and losing everything. You can give me a call at 480-478-0030 or check me out at Got Protection AC. Remember to ask yourself, are you protected? We'll see you next week.